Welcome. Welcome to another segment, another sharing. What are we sharing? We are sharing love, compassion, kindness, forgiveness. We are sharing all things that are held within your divine inner essence of all that is. Mm. Tracy is the medium in which collective consciousness is flowing through. Tracy has moved aside, lack of better words, to allow source energy to place forward divine words. Tracy will say it feels like all good things from the heavens above, a conversation from the angels, a conversation from past loved ones, a conversation from eternal light beings, a conversation from divine. And all is very accurate and well. So here we are, through the gifts of mediumship, to allow space and time to assist ones upon Mother Earth, if you will, but to truly just open a space, to allow space for ones to feel better than perhaps one is feeling. All the foundation of Tracy's sharing, of our tr sharing through Tracy, is based on love, kindness, compassion, forgiveness. And ones will say, so? <laughs> so, we all know about love and compassion, kindness and forgiveness. So, do you have something else? And we would say, what is something else? Because without love, what would the world look like? It would only be war, only be war. Without compassion, what would the world look like? It would only be war and unkindness. Ponder that. Without forgiveness, what would the world look like? And it would only be war. When you ponder what life would be like without kindness, without love, without compassion, without forgiveness, you would discover very quickly that it would only be chaos. Chaos within, chaos abound, chaos with every soul on the planet. So, is what we are sharing boring? perhaps, but try living without it. Now, it is true, life experience brings forth a place to live without it on some level. So ones can be extremely loving, extremely loving to a spouse, to a lover, to a child, to a pet, and absolutely unloving to a stranger, to a co-worker, to a family member. And that is the same with forgiveness and kindness. It is the same with compassion. Compassion, love, kindness, forgiveness, it is all a choice. And ones will say, no, it is not a choice. How could I love that? How could I love the one that has hurt me the most? And how do I find compassion to what has just taken place upon the planet? How can I find compassion towards the war, towards the judgment and the condemnation? How can I find kindness when ones truly have been extremely unkind to me? How can I do that? And isn't that a wonderful, grand question to ponder? How can you do it? How do you do it? Would there ever be a quarrel in the heavens? It would sound absurd. And why? Because divine eternal light that you hold within is the realm of heaven, if you will. Name it what you will. The oneness, the universe. Think of heaven, if you will. And would there ever be a quarrel in the heavens? And why would that be? Because ones 
are intuitively knowing that when one departs from Mother Earth, if you will, into the grandness of the oneness, the expansion of divine eternal light, all is divine eternal light. And what is divine eternal light in the simplest of words? It is love in the purest sense of love. It is compassion beyond compassionate compassion. It is forgiveness at a level that would not even feel real. Forgiveness when all things are forgiven. All of it. It is kindness beyond because when there is such extreme expansion of love and compassion and forgiveness, it would only be kind. Yeah? So we are here to remind you that within you, who you truly authentically are, divine eternal light, holds within the grandest expansion of love. And it feels absurd at times because life experience covers up the layers of life experience, the bully in the playground, unkind words said, name it. There are hundreds and thousands and millions of reasons not to feel love. And there are hundreds and thousands and millions of reasons to feel love. And that goes with compassion. It goes with compassion and forgiveness. It is your choice and your choice alone. And we are not here to mm, dictate, oh, you should forgive. No, this is not a lecture. This is not a lecture. All souls have the grandest of free will. The free will to choose whether to be compassionate or not. The free will to choose love or not. The free will to be kind or not. The free will, the freest of will, to be forgiving or not. We are just here to gently remind you that life travels do feel so much better when you do find a place to bring love and place it before you and forgiveness and kindness and compassion before you. Think of vibration, and we have mentioned this before. So it is all held within moving forward. So when you are angry and when you are resentful and when you are feeling less than anything but good, and all emotions are meant to be felt. This is not a scolding for being angry, not at all. You must understand anger to understand peace. You must understand joy to understand sorrow. It is the contrast of life. What we are sharing, when you are experiencing your emotions. It doesn't matter what emotion it is. Think of it as vibration coming from within to without, going before you, going before you. You know when you have walked into a room and there are ones that are quarreling and you walk in and everyone pretends everything is okay and they put on these fake smiles and you say, is everything okay? Oh, yes, yes, everything is fine, and they're smiling. But you know, because of vibration, you've walked into the vibration of anger, or you've walked into the vibration of sorrow. You've walked into the vibration of happiness. Have you entered a room, and one is so joyful and loving and caring and passionate that you can't help but feel passionate and love and care? It's all a vibration. So, ponder, when you place love before you, when you place compassion before you, think of it as coming from within, beyond, in front of. Then we say, now, take a step. Take a step. What are you walking into when you take this step? Well, if you were feeling love, you would 
naturally move forward into the state of love. If you were feeling anger, you would naturally step into the vibration, the feeling of anger. It is only when one places down the emotion that the vibration changes. That makes sense. You cannot hold anger and frustration, resentment, fill it in and hold happiness at the same time. One must be placed down. And so many choose to place down happiness. Why is that? Is that not the grandest question to ask yourself? Why does it feel easier to hold on to the anger than it is to hold on to the happiness? So many feel that happiness is so fleeting and their life is filled with anger and disappointment and frustration and just and disheartenment feeling less than feeling unworthy it is hard to feel happiness when one is holding the feeling of feeling unworthy would that be in the heavens no for in the heavens it is only the expansion of the knowing. There are no mistakes in creation. There are no mistakes in creation. So where are we going with this little segment? Well, truly just to share with you that you are as expansive and beautiful as the rays of the sun. And we know ones would say, well, that's just a bunch of BS. Don't believe it. Don't want to hear it don't even know why I'm watching this crazy video. And another may find the truth of it all. Another may say, what if? What if there are no mistakes in creation? What if I could bring forth my happiness and walk into the vibration of happiness? What if I could place my upsets down what if I could find just a little bit of compassion towards the one that truly hurt me? What if I forgave? What would my life look like and be and feel like if I would choose to forgive? What if? What if when you place forward your divine eternal light shining that is shining all the time, even on the darkest of days, your light is shining. And it feels so mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. hairy fairy, love and light, love and light. What we speak about is the depths of, not the buzzwords, oh, love and light, and then cut someone off in the parking lot. Oh, love and light, come home and yell at a spouse. It's not what we speak about. We speak about the knowing of who you truly are underneath layers of life experience. That you are divine in every, every, we want to say in every way, but it does not come close to the expression of you are here for grand reason and great purpose. You are here to create and bring forth the grandest of love, the grandest of compassion, the grandest of forgiveness and kindness. Why not live on earth as it is in heaven? Why not? What do you have to lose? Why not? Why not experience it? as you create and unfold life. Why not walk into the vibration of the love that you are, that you hold? Why not be kind to the unkind? Why not show compassion to something that feels that compassion would never be? Why not just try it? So, with that, we will conclude. We'll wrap it up. We are eager to share. 
We are eager to embrace the oneness of all that is. We are eager to remind you of who you truly are underneath the upsets of life journey, underneath the disappointments, underneath the sorrow and the hurt. And ones will say, well, why is that anyway? Why do I have to feel hurt to bring forth compassion? Why can I not just be compassionate with miss all that other things? Why do I have to forgive anything? Why is there something to forgive? Why do I have to do that? Hmm. Life's journey, the contrast of life to feel everything really, 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 really good, really good. There is great love for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.